Hi guys, as you can see we're not really in Stockholm at the moment, we're actually in Paris and we are at the block out Avergris and we're doing a bit of a color collaboration with them. So they flew us out here, we can come and yeah, see how the gyms are, like the people that work here, uh, how they set the boulders, we're gonna meet the root setters, uh, we're gonna meet Gigi, like he's been competing in the World Cup for a long time, I'm incredibly excited to meet him because I've been fanboying for a while actually to kind of meet him. And another thing that is really special with the Blockout franchise is they have a restaurant. Uh, the people kind of come in and eat in that aren't necessarily climbers. They just eat here, have a nice lunch and kind of watch people climb. And I think that's, I think that's really cool. And for climbers, you know, we can have a beer after the session and then that's an incredible resource. And then I wish we had that in Sweden. And if you go to Paris, go check out the Blockout gyms. They are hands down one of the favorite gyms I've been in in all of Europe and maybe all of the world. And today with me we're gonna kind of explore the climbing a bit more, see different walls and like a, a special kind of thing that I don't think many gyms in the world have. So yeah, that's, I'm just gonna change and then jump into it. All right, so me and Emil have warmed up. Um, so we're gonna kind of showcase the gym while climbing through all the walls. So we're gonna kind of take turns on the camera. Um, and this is also like, this is something I think we should highlight because I haven't seen this anywhere else. The kind of goal, the, the sole purpose is to like have shock for everyone that comes climb. If it's the first time, you can just rent shoes and then they will have shock. So I think it's pretty cool. So we all kind of share the shock together. Shock it up and then you go around and you find another one. I think there are like four of them all together in the gym. So I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, let's look at the, the round thingy over here. Yeah, so this is like the, the special thing that, that I spoke about. So it's a, it's a climbing ball, but it, it, like it moves when you climb. So it's quite interesting because each move you do, the the, the ball, the, like the wall moves itself, so you have to like be ready, be prepared for the momentum that you created on the wall. So this is the first one I think we should climb on. So I found a red one. And there's also something we should talk about, they have color gradings. So green is the hardest, um, that's like 7B plus and upwards. So green could be a 7B plus, or it could be an 8C. Yeah, and then the black is uh, like 7A to 7B, and then white is like 6C to 7A, something like that. Um, I guess there's something we will kind of yeah, and red, so like 7B something something. 6B, right? Oh yeah, 6B, I mean. <laughs> yeah, we'll work it out. You're supposed to top this out as well. So it's it's decently height, and it also like, it moves. So it's, I don't know, Emil topped it out earlier. I'm like, are you supposed to top it out? Like, that looks, that looks scary. Like, that, is that okay? And he's like, Emil's like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So. Yeah, it was scary. I had yeah. to commit for sure. I probably won't do that again. Oh yeah, never Gregory. Like that guy, the guy like over there. It's like gives tour a run for his money. I've not seen a person that shredded in my entire life. Yeah, so I guess these are the two islands, I would say. That's what they call them in London. We don't really have an island in Sweden. Um, or in, in Katusandet at least. So yeah, it's islands. You can climb on both, or like all surfaces on it, and then you kind of top up the ball, top out the boulders as well. And once again, we don't really have that in Kletter Center, so I'm not used to it at all. I mean, I mean, Emil climbs a lot outside, and he's used to topping out. I'm like really scared just topping out inside, or like sketchy. The red one was terrifying. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Let's continue and walk through the gym. All right. So I found I found like a red one in on or like yeah. You can come look. So I found the red one here, and the red one was like 6B plus, somewhere around there. Something like that, maybe. Uh, I've not tried it before, so I have no clue. But yeah, let's take a look at it. I'm just, I'm just gonna shock up a bit first.
Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have a problem you want to show? And of all the section to show? Ooh. Uh, so, I mean, I've been behind the camera, but now you'll see me climb. It's got a lot of these like funky moves in the beginning. Such a nice cave. It's like it's long and it's got it's got pretty much everything you want from a cave. And it's like it's a nice problem as well because you do all of these pretty cool stem moves in the beginning, which is pretty rare, I'd say. It's like hard to get those moves um, because you really can't create them without this type of setup. So that looked really smooth for me, Emil. Um, yeah, we're gonna continue in this same area. <laughs> yeah, so this is another good section. Uh, I'm gonna climb a red here as well. And it goes up this way. Yeah, and in there, there's like on that side, there is where the restaurant is. It's pretty cool. You're supposed to climb above, but I think we're trying to make it a bit efficient, so it's a really cool problem. I think it's Emil's turn to find a new problem within the climbing area, so... Alright, let's we'll see what he figures out. Alright, so um, we're gonna try this white one behind me. Um, starts in the red and traverses a bit. Um, uh, yeah, spread out. I think it topped out as well. Alright, so we have the last section left of the gym, it's kind of the hidden slab. So, yeah, come along, we'll, we'll find it. Yeah, and here we go. Kind of like... I don't, I don't climb so much slab. Uh, we're gonna give some some slab tries. They have to find a problem. The red one kind of looks cool. Kind of like squeezy. The other holes look kind of slippery. Yeah, we try that one.
Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I need to start stretching. It's just way too difficult to do those things. I think we covered covered most yeah, I think we covered the gym altogether. I think we maybe left us left out like a small detail, but in the next few days there are gonna be a bunch of episodes. So it's gonna be a root setting episodes, it's gonna be some powerful climbing episodes with some incredibly powerful climbers. So I think you you'll see plenty from this gym. Plenty. Hope you liked it and I think we might see you in a couple of days. I think I might have a few days in a row now again. And as always that is the end goal. It's gonna happen. Yes, these small windows right now is just it's just in between so I get new skills. But we're getting closer and closer to one a day again. Uh, but I think Emil, do you have any final words? Should nah, I take the camera? Good, I'm good? Yeah. Alright. But love you guys. See you tomorrow.